Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Singapore Math Tutors. So we're on another question on uh, inversely proportional. Um, so this is one of uh, sort of a more challenging question that I found a lot of students struggle with as well. Okay, so um, so let's start. Y is inversely proportional to square of x. So once they give you this, immediately write this out. Okay, and then now they give you um, another thing here. If x is increased by 50% find the percentage change of y oh no so you might think oh no I don't know what's percentage change I don't know uh, okay um, maybe I know how to write this part here whereby x is increased by 50% okay so you, you're stuck where they talk about percentage change but no worries okay so uh, I'll go through with you so we, we first let y1 be the new y Okay, when x is increased by 50%. So from 100%, it is increased by 50%. means that it is 150% now. Okay? And then therefore, it's 1.5x and then bracket square because x is the one that's increased by 50%, not x square. Okay? So we have 1 over 2.25x square. So therefore, 1 over 2.25. Okay, just type it into your calculator. Right, you get 4 over 9, okay? So, uh, 4 over 9, if you take the 4 over 9 out, you can see kx squared, which brings, is very familiar, right? Does it look familiar? So here, this is actually your oy, right? This is actually your oy here, okay? So now you have um, y1 equals to uh, 4 over 9, the OY. So it's 4 over 9 of the OY. So uh, if you think about it, it's, um, it's smaller than the previous, uh, than the OY, correct? So therefore, your answer has to be a negative percentage change because it's a decreasing uh, percentage change, right? So um, if you know, if you know how to calculate percentage change, then maybe you don't have to listen to um, this. But if you don't know, please take note that percentage change is always current minus initial, right? Divided by initial change, okay? Times 100%. Okay? So take note that um, the current is 4 over 9, right? Minus the initial divided by 1, okay? And this will give you minus 55.56%, okay? So uh, this is very important, okay? Um, some people, until right up to secondary four, they still don't know what's the formula for percentage change because this is all learned in like primary school or not even that in like secondary school even. But it is very important to, to know all these basic things especially, okay? So um, I'll see you in the next video and thank you.